So let's take this problem. So randomized quick sort is an extension to quick sort where the pivot is chosen randomly, right? What is the worst case? Remember, what is the worst case complexity of sorting n numbers using randomized quick sort? It's a very good question. The keyword here is the worst case. It's very, very important. Okay. Imagine if my array consists of the same numbers, let's say three, three, if my array consists of the same number repeated itself, right? Which means all the elements are the same. Then what happens to randomized quicksort? It will pick one of these elements randomly. It can pick any of these elements, but all the elements are same. Let's assume it picked up this element. Now it will try to readjust the array such that all the elements less than equal to are on one side and all the elements greater than equal to are on the other side. So one of these two things will happen. You'll have three here and the rest of the threes are here. So this is your pivot element or based on how you write your code, you could have the pivot element come to the end and all the elements here. Both these cases are worst cases because in both these instances, you have this case where a problem of size n is being converted to a problem of size n minus one plus t zero plus theta of n. Right. So the time complexity, if you solve this recurrence relation, what would you get? You would get big O of n square. Right. So if all the elements are the same, again, you can uh, this, using the simple randomized quick sort as defined here, you would get a worst case time complexity of order of n square number one. Now, of course, you might say, OK, I could check if all the elements are the same or not in order of n time. Avoiding this whole situation, but that's not mentioned here in the question, right? If that was mentioned, I would have said, yes, this is not the case, but that's not clearly given. So I'll assume that we are not checking whether all the elements are the same or not before we even start the sorting. So I cannot make that assumption. Second case is, remember your randomized quick sort is picking a pivot randomly, which means there is a very, very, very small chance there is a very, 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 very small chance, negligible, but still some chance that you're always picking, that you're always picking randomly. While picking randomly, you're always picking the smallest element as pivot. The smallest element. You're always picking the smallest element as your pivot. Of course, the probability of that happening is extremely small, but still there is a small, extremely small amount of probability. In the worst case, you always say, what is the worst case? Since there is at least some non-zero probability of picking the smallest element as pivot every time, we will have to account for that in the worst case. So the answer for this will be order of n square. The key thing that you remember here is randomized sort in general, if all the elements are not the same, right? The, the chance of picking the smallest element as pivot every time is extremely low. And hence, in an expected sense, in an expected, so there is something called as expected time complexity or expected runtime, right? Of course, you can calculate this using expectations in probability theory, right? So the expected runtime would certainly not be order of n square if all the elements are not the same. So in this case too, while there is a very, very small probability, right? In general, you don't observe that. That's why randomized quicksort is very popular in practice. But of course, you have to check whether all the elements are the same or not, just to ensure that you don't get into this case, right? 